Hey, what's going on guys? So today we are going to talk all about health savings accounts. Um, so since it is getting to be open enrollment time, then I figured this would be a good time to talk through this. Um, talk about it at HSA, what it is, um, why people like me talk about it so much, and different ways that you can take advantage of it. All right, let's get started. So first we're gonna start off with just the fact that you work for a company and whenever you're enrolling for your benefits, then you have to make a decision on what health insurance plan you wanna get. And so that can be broken down into three main categories. So first there's a PPO plan, the HMO plan, and then what's called a high deductible health plan. Um, so real quick, I'm not gonna get too far into these details, but a PPO plan, usually the premium is the highest, but it's the one where you have co-pays and then also you have a lot more flexibility with what provider you use. Um, with an HMO plan, it's also another one that has co-pays, but it's a, it's a little bit cheaper usually, but um, the network uh, matters as far as, as far as who you go to for your health coverage. So finally, with the high deductible health plan, um, this one's a relatively new option, and so that's one where the premium is generally the lowest, but on the other, on the other side of it, there's, you know, it's like, like the name says, it has a high deductible, and so before you meet that deductible, whenever you have medical bills, then you are just paying those medical bills. And so in order to make that make sense for people, then um, the, they also established something called the health savings account. In order to, to have a health savings account, um, you have to be enrolled in this high deductible health plan. So just to be clear, if you enroll in either a PPO or an HMO plan, then the rest of this video doesn't pertain to you anymore. So now let's get into what an HSA is and how it works. The best way to think about an HSA is that it's like a it's it's a it's an account that is specifically to pay for medical expenses. Um, and so, I, one thing I want to clarify is that it's different than an FSA or a flexible spending arrangement. In that, an FSA is the one where you put money into it each year, but then it's a use it or lose it at the end of the year. But an HSA, on the other hand, is one that you that it belongs to you and then that money can stay in there indefinitely. Now let's talk a little bit about how money gets into the HSA and then how it's treated from a tax perspective. So whenever, in order to get money into the HSA, there's, there's two primary ways of doing it. Either you directly put money into the HSA or, and this, this one's probably, this one's a little bit better, is that you actually tell your employer to say, put so much of my so, so much per paycheck into the HSA. Side note, the reason why that there's an advantage of having the employer do this is that whenever they do this, then you're, you don't have to pay social security or Medicare tax on the money that goes into the HSA. You put money into the HSA and so you're saving it for medical expenses and then whenever you need to use it for medical expenses, then you pull it out of this account. So all this stuff seems pretty straightforward, so really what's so special about this? Well, the, the thing that's great about this is the way that the money is treated from a tax perspective um, for each of these steps. So if we first talk about the money whenever we put it in, um, so that'd be part of your income, and then whenever the money is in the account, and then you also think about whenever you withdraw the money. The way that this is taxed or the, way, the reason why an HSA is so powerful is because this money, whenever you, whenever you put it into the HSA, it doesn't count as income, so it's not taxed here. While it's in the account, um, then, and I'll get more into this later, is that you can actually have this invested and that the dividends and gains and everything while it's in the account um, isn't taxed. So that's also saying it's tax deferred while it's in the account. And then finally, if you withdraw it for qualified medical expenses, then it's also not taxed whenever you take it out. So I put an asterisk there because it's very important that it actually is a qualified medical expense in order for it not to be taxed. So that's kind of the basics of an HSA, um, of just how it works, how you get money in, and what you're using it for. And the big power is the fact that you're not paying taxes on it in all three of these stages. 
And so sometimes you'll hear people say that it has a triple tax advantage. And so this is what they're talking about. And really, if we if we count this as well with if your employer is the one that's putting the money in there um, out of your paycheck through through payroll de paycheck deductions, um, then there's also the extra benefit of not having to pay into uh, Medicare and Social Security for for that amount. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll have future videos that talk a little bit more about some of the strategies around using an HSA. Um, but I just wanted to lay the groundwork first and um, I hope this was helpful and thanks and I will talk to you guys later.